Hello again. If you've been following along, you might have made a puppet like this. I'm going to show you how to make a costume for her, and also how to make the droid puppet. Start by taking the head off the body. It's easier to make the costume that way. You might also want to paint the hands now. I've used acrylic paints which match the face colour and added details with a permanent marker pen. To make the princess's costume, you will need some fabric scissors, a marker pen, some string or wool, some masking tape, some rubber solution glue, and the fabric of your choice. Take a piece of string and wrap it around the bottle. Making sure the string is tight, make a mark on both bits of string with a marker pen. Now lay the string out on a table and you can see the two marks, here and here. Now cut the string about two centimetres beyond the red mark. Do the same the other end. Lay the string out on your fabric. This shows how wide to cut your fabric. You see, I need to cut it here and here at the end of the string. To find out how long you need to make the fabric, measure from the top of the bottle to the bottom of the bottle and then add two centimetres. You'll probably end up with a bit of fabric wider than it is long. Now wrap the fabric around the bottle and try to make a centre seam at the back. Stick it together with the rubber solution glue. To make the sleeve hole, lie the puppet on its side and make a cut from the top of the fabric to where you can feel the arm meets the bottle, like this. Gather the fabric around the neck of the bottle and wind masking tape around it to hold it in place. Trim off any excess fabric. There we go. Now cut a piece of fabric and glue it around the neck to make a neat collar. To make the sleeves, lay the puppet arm along the fabric. Now, usually the sleeve would be about five times the width of the arm, and I'd cut it to about halfway along the hand. So, like this. Once you're happy with one sleeve, of course lay it on the fabric and cut another one to match. Wrap the sleeve around the arm and stick the seam together with the glue. Stick the sleeve to the shoulder using more glue. Do the other sleeve and you'll end up with something like this. Here's the one I made earlier. It's a very simple costume, but you could go on and decorate it with whatever you like. Buttons, feathers, paper scales if you're making a monster. It's up to you. Now the droid is quite simple to make. I'll show you inside him. His body is just the top half of a fizzy drinks bottle and his head is the bottom section, cut off and stuck to a pencil for a control rod. The droid's arms are made in the same way as the princess's. They're newspaper tubes threaded onto string, only this time I've covered them in paper and I've also given him three joints. Also, he's got a claw covered in aluminium foil instead of a human hand. I used acrylic paints to paint the droid because they stick very well onto the plastic bottle. I used a permanent marker pen to draw out all the designs over the droid. Now his eye is made from the bottle top with a diamond inside, not a real one sadly. I've also used little shiny stickers and bits of plastic to give him extra sci-fi sparkle. I hope you have fun making your own puppets. Why not send in photos of them to the Norwich Puppet Theatre? Bye-bye!